Today, we're going to show a new selection of crafting hacks and give you some awesome super quick budget and decorating ideas as a bonus. Need to handwrite a card since no printer is at hand? There's a smart solution to create intricate lettering. Fasten two pencils with elastic across the entire length. Align the leads. Now, try to write. Press both pencils, have some patience, and voila! We've created a stunning font. This beautiful greeting will leave no one untouched. You can fasten two markers instead and draw any ornaments. Three markers will also work well. It's a great idea for scrapbooking lovers. Oh, this ever-scattering glitter! But we do love sparkling crafts. Okay, let's try to learn how to gather it in style. Use double-sided tape to solve the problem. Wow, it's gorgeous! We should certainly use it in future crafts. We can decorate anything with this glowing tape. A phone case, for example. It's cool! The glitter doesn't shake off, so you don't need to apply any additional finishing coat. And it just takes a few minutes. You don't have time for decoration, do you? So you have to invent something for table decoration, and it is urgent. Here is an idea. Make original candle holders from ordinary wine glasses. We'll need bright scrapbook paper. We've taken space printed and patterned paper in blue tints. Draw a semicircle line and another same one lower. Check that the spaces between them will be the same. Use a ruler. The width depends on the glass height. Cut out the rounded stripe. We've prepared six details. Roll up one to make a small shade. Attach it with white glue. Put the shades on the glasses. We've got these cute mini lamps with replaceable shades. Place a candle inside. Light it. And put on the shade. It's quick and easy. Just a few minutes and your plain wine glasses turn into glamorous shaded candle holders. You can make an eye-catching decorating garland from plastic cups and paper in the same way. Start with a template. Place a cup to the scrapbook paper and cut out the template using a craft knife. Make a number of differently patterned elements. Decorate the cups. Attach the paper with the white glue. You can use multi-purpose or hot glue instead. Make a crisscross cut on the bottom. Put an LED into each cut. The LED garland is compulsory to avoid melting of the plastic cups. It's a perfect idea to decorate the room without spending much time and money. You often ask in your comments what to do if your thread and white glue decorations deform and hollows appear. Don't throw them away. Put a small balloon inside, inflate it, and tie a knot. The shape has restored. Take a bigger balloon for a nightlight. Repeat the step. Cover the restored decoration with white glue. Apply a thick coat with a flat brush. When dry, prick the balloons. The garland and night lights are just like new. You can use the same method to correct the shape of your paper mache craft if a balloon has been used as the base. Another cheap way to embellish your home is painting a vase, wine glass, or just a jar. You'll find it difficult to color the glass with acrylic paints. The coat is not smooth and strokes are visible. Try a fast and effective secret trick. Mix the acrylic paint with a bit of water. Stir until smooth. The paint should become liquid. Pour it into the glass. 
Tilt and twist the glass to make the paint cover it inside. We've got a smooth, glossy coat. The whole glass is painted impeccably. You can leave it as it is or use it as a toolkit for the further decoration. We don't want to stop here, so we take a permanent marker and add cute eyes. Shade the eye black, leaving two spots of reflected light. Repeat for the second eye. Draw a face and eyebrows. Oops, we accidentally drew a wrong line, but the marker dries fast and it's impossible to erase it. Don't worry, it's no problem. Nail polish remover will help. Rub out the line with a Q-tip. Perfect, there's no trace of the line. The lovely painted glass will be a fine table decoration. You can easily paint any glass jar in the same way, but first you'll have to remove paper labels. Sometimes they are attached firmly, but there's no time to soak. Pour some hot water into a bowl. Put a fork inside and add a bit of dish soap. Place the jar in the solution to soak the label. The fork keeps the jar in due position. Pour the hot water on top. Try to peel off the label leftover. Perfect! It's easy to remove. Use a sponge to remove the glue coat. What should we do if the label is peeled off but the glue coat is left? Mix baking soda with sunflower oil. Stir until smooth. Pour some of the mixture onto a sponge. Spread it over the glue coat. Place the fork inside the jar. Pour the hot water on the fork to prevent splintering the glass. Finally, we can remove the last traces of the glue with the sponge. Or a napkin. And rinse before use. We often use jars in the interior design projects. It's simple and low priced and inspires a lot of home decorating ideas. Let's see what we can do with the jar and decorative tape. Attach a couple of stripes to turn it into something new. But this tape is quite expensive. Use our hack to make it yourself. Take masking tape. Attach it to glossy or parchment paper or plastic board. Later on, you'll be able to remove it easily. Color the tape with the acrylic paints. Just mix bold colors to get a pattern. Let it dry. The first coat is ready. Shake the brush to add some random paint drops. The ordinary tape has become a stunning design item. Cut it out to decorate whatever you want. Remove the tape from the paper to attach to some other surface. You can shape it like you wish. You'll need some patience to get a unique pattern. We can make a smart desk pen holder, a vase, or a candle holder. Add a splash of color to your boring pencils. Remove a strip. Attach the tape to the pencil, spirally twisted. It looks amazing! You can make thin strips. Attach them to see the pencil's basic color. Cool! Now each pencil is decorated in a different way. This painted tape allows us to get a whole number of design variations. You can make a striped pattern on any surface using the masking tape. Attach it to the jar. Leave uncovered the area you want to paint. Spray paint the jar. Remove the tape. The bottom is ready. Cover the jar using the paper and tape. Spray paint again. Add a blue ribbon. The stripe jar is ready. You can decorate jars using threads. Add white glue. Glue the threads and wrap it around the jar, row after row. Alternate the colors. Another stylish decor item is ready. We hope these simple and low-cost ideas will help you decorate your home for any holiday party, and our tips and tricks will make the creating process fast and entertaining. Write in your comments which hacks you use in your DIYs. Join us and subscribe to Troom Troom. Hit the like button, click the bell, and we'll let you know when a new video appears.